Paul, the UK government would have us believe that the Trident nuclear missile system protects us from every bogeyman that there's ever been in the wider world. What are your views on the subject? Yeah, Trident's interesting, isn't it? I don't think Trident protects us from anything at all, to be honest with you, Mike. I think it's worth looking at what Trident actually is. You know, a missile system that um, has the capacity to kill millions of people at a stroke and uh, we don't even own it. It's owned by America. We lease it back and we stick our own warheads on it and uh, we house it in Scotland. Um, I think it's massively expensive as well. You know, they're talking about renewing Trident just now at a cost of well over a hundred billion pounds, whilst we've got 300,000 children in Scotland living in poverty. I think it's indefensible uh, as a policy and I think Trident's a complete waste of money. Wouldn't you say that um, over the last 60 years or so since we've had a nuclear deterrent, that it's secured our place in the world stage? I think um, I think the UK government uh, uses Trident as uh, a, a, a vehicle to get a seat at the top table, you know, the UN Security Council and things like that. It's a very, very expensive route to get that kind of influence. And, uh, you know, I think I'd have to disagree with you. You know, the, the world, I think, is becoming a more dangerous place. And I think the sorts of threats that we're confronted by now um, have got um, a peculiar impact on our society and one that is, is uninfluenced by Trident. But without Trident, we wouldn't have such a say on the world stage. Is it not very important for the UK to punch above its weight and, and be part of the, the, the greater and wider um, world in that way? I think it's important that... Um, we do have an influence in the wider world, and I would like to see Scotland's influence being um, um, to the fore a lot more, I think. Um, I, do, I don't necessarily agree with very much that the UK government says. I don't agree with many of the things and many of the policies that the UK government puts forward. Um, and I don't um, know that I agree that I really want to be represented by the UK government on the world stage, as you put it. I think this idea that the UK punches above its, above its weight is a bit of a fallacy, to be honest. What is it that we've achieved in the last 60 years on the UN Security Council as a, as a state? Um, not, not very much. You know, we've had countless wars. None of them have been... Um, um, in any way diminished by the presence of Trident. It's, you know, it's, it's four submarines that cruise around the world and for what I see, don't really do very much. I actually agree. Um, I think that the UK is a small European country and should act accordingly. Do you agree? I think, um, I think the UK is an average sized country that is, uh, or state rather, that's trying to find its place in a changing world and it's not doing it particularly successfully. Um, we need to be evolving as a nation, that's the nation of Scotland, we need to be creative and we need to be innovative. You know, I look at the UK and I look at the, the propositions and the policies put forward by the UK government and all I see is um, an attempt to perpetuate history to perpetuate an empire that doesn't exist any longer, a colonialism that I was always very, very uncomfortable with. I don't see a state that's progressive, that's creative, that's imaginative. I see a state that is looking backwards and aspiring to be something that it pretends that it was at some point in the past. I think the policies of the UK government in terms of foreign policy are really quite different to the sorts of foreign policy that the people of Scotland would like to be seen put forward. Now, I think the people of Scotland would like to be um, uh, seen as a force for good in the world and a valued partner around the world. I don't really see the UK having either of those roles at the moment. Mm -hmm.